So, game nights are all different types of games. I mean, we just invite people to play any game they want. Um, typically, a lot of people right now would like to play Valorant. Uh, from the first game night, a lot of people are playing Smash, a lot of people are playing like fighting games. Uh, League, CS, uh, CSGO, sorry, uh, Valorant. Um, so all types of games. It's not just one specific game, and also a lot of Overwatch, especially oh, in Overwatch. Yeah. Matches in progress. <laughs> so back in my freshman sophomore year, it was COVID. So there were no live events. Um, the first live events and first game nights, I myself and Ryan and Leon had uh, made. So we were the ones that actually started the game nights. Uh, but yes, I have gone to from the first one. The only one I have missed was last one. That just happened. Uh, the first game that we did have a couple of years back, we had over two to three hundred people here in the room, people lining up outside. Um, so it's just getting the word out there, people understanding that it's going to be a fun time. Um, last time we had music, um, snacks, the whole thing. So uh, just being able to promote with other incentives and people are just yeah, going to be able yeah, to come yeah. through and realize that. Wow. That's so wild. Wow. It's characters. Yes. I was graduating high school and I had applied to a couple of schools. Um, and MSU was able to give me a full ride for academics. Um, I came here with my roommate, who was also my best friend in high school. We both played this game called League of Legends uh, during high school. Uh, we weren't both really good. But, um, we saw his brother he used to be in the original esports department in 2015. His brother let him know that they had a league team going on. Um, he tried out and he forced me to try out the last last day of tryouts for League of Legends. Uh, and then after that, I just got more involved. So sign paper five times. I was the head coach uh, last year, that was my old position, so originally I was just a player, then I became uh, team manager, then operations manager, then head coach, now I'm vice president. So um, head coach was basically like a team manager of every single team. Yeah, of course. Um, so we actually, we have three, but we only have two currently at the moment. Um, I always like to flex that, so, so uh, over the last, I it would, they all took place, took place in like 2022. It was a national competition that we won. We won three of them for social media. Um, so um, they're like level next Twitter competition. So essentially the school that had the most Twitter interactions um, with a specific hashtag got $15,000 at the end of the month. Um, I mean, it's, it's a free enter tournament. Everybody was fighting for you know 15 grand. We were able to win three times. Uh, I mean, it's, it's a great time. Uh, we are the best esports team in New Mexico uh, and one of the best in the Southwest. Now that esports is getting really, really large, and there's a lot, a lot of money involved, uh, it's looked at for said. it's looked as a lot of varsity programs for a lot of different schools out there. Typically, a lot of large universities are able to give scholarships, even full rides for esports nowadays. Uh, and it's looking they're they're bringing in a lot of a lot of talent from all over the world, not just from the United States. Um, so, for us to be able to compete with some of the like best of the best that are giving scholarships without being able to provide a lot of money um, is is really really good. Um, we're really competitive and uh, we try to be one of the best without the funding.